watching Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. As the city of Utica grew throughout history, the ways to get around the area changed and adapted. Tonight, Joe Kelly shows us the hidden history of a popular mode of transportation. Faithful followers of our Hidden History series will recognize the significant part that the Mohawk Valley played in the development of transportation in New York State. First, the Mohawk River, and then the stagecoach systems, and then the Erie Canal, which was pivotal in the development of the state and nation. Horse-drawn carriages were replaced by the Iron Horse in the Mohawk Valley in 1836. Within 30 years, rail lines were condensed down to what was called interurban rail systems, a system which used smaller self-propelled streetcars or trolley cars. The first line, the Utica and Westernville Company, was built in 1864. Then in 1868, a north-south route was opened. It was named the Utica, Clinton, and Binghamton Railway. That line was taken over in part by the Utica Beltline Street Railroad in 1886. The Beltline operated mostly trolley cars on six different lines in Utica. They also ran lines into New Hartford, Whitesburg, New York Mills, and Oriskany was the home of one of the area's great attractions, Summit Park. All told, there were 75 streetcars running on the Utica Beltline Street Railroad, and none other than Arthur Savage of Savage Arms fame was in charge of the operation for a while back in the 1890s. The Utica Beltline not only consolidated independent lines running in Utica, it also electrified all of its lines, putting the horses back in the barn. In 1901, another consolidation resulted in the formation of the Utica and Mohawk Valley Railway. The Utica and Mohawk Valley Railway operated all of its trolleys in the cities of Utica and Rome. It also ran lines between Rome and Little Falls. A second major interurban system was also running at that time, the Oneida Railway. The Oneida Railway ran an electrified system between Utica and Syracuse. The power was supplied to a third rail by a 60,000 volt substation in Clark Mills. The Oneida Railway also ran a special in the summer to Sylvan Beach. Eventually, those operations merged in 1912 with New York State Railways, which was a subsidiary of the New York Central. At its peak, New York State Railways ran trolleys in Utica, Syracuse, Rochester, and other areas. But by the 1920s, there were more automobiles on the roads and fewer passengers on the streetcars. In 1928, the New York Central sold its interest in New York State Railways to the Associated Gas and Electric Company, which was the company that supplied the power to the interurban rail system. But things didn't get any better, and within a year, Associated Gas and Electric was in receivership. They began to shed their city operations. They also began to add buses to their service, and the last trolley in Utica completed its final run on May 12, 1941. Produced with the cooperation of the United County History Center, I'm Joe Kelly, and this is Hidden History.